Rahim. On behalf of Marqas Sahaba, the voice of Alu Sunnah wal Jama'a, we present to you lesson number 2271 of our daily nasiha and advice. Today, with the grace and mercy of Allah Jalla Wala, we focus on the 16th of Rajab. An Abi Dharrin radiallahu ta'ala an Abu Dharr radiallahu ta'ala an was a senior Sahabi and in the latter portion of his life he had to leave Medina. Qal qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam then Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wasallam addressed him and said idha qama ahadukum ila salat when any one of you stands up for salat then fa inna ar-rahmata tuwajihuhu then rahma and Allah special mercy is now focusing towards you the muswalli the person in salat falam yamsah bil hasa so don't go and touch the pebbles and touch this and touch so now what lesson we take from here? We fiddle with our clothing. The ladies sometimes fiddle with their burqa. We play with our beards, our spectacles. So all this is unbecoming. Yes, it's a matter of urgency or something that's different. But ours is not urgency normally. It's just a habit that we have and that's not a good habit. We are depriving ourselves of the special mercy which all Allah is sending towards us. Therefore, in the starting of Surah 23, verse 2, all Allah speaks of it, الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِئُونَ That the pious people are those that Allah Ta'ala special mercy, that Allah Ta'ala wants us to read Salat with devotion and concentration. Then His mercy will come towards us. Similarly, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi mashil hasa fi salat sahaba as Ya Rasulullah, sometimes it's intensely hot and we want to now flatten the pebbles, someone poke us on our forehead and so forth when we performing sajda. So the Master alayhi wa sallam said, in kunta fa'ilan, if you have to do so as a last resort for marratan wahida, once only. Not you keep on doing it, you keep on doing it, the salat will break and so forth. See the other hadith in Ibn Majah, all these hadith from Ibn Majah, that Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu states, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, man masal hasa faqad laga, whosoever while touching the pebbles and so forth in salat, and just out of habit there's no need nothing, faqad laga, he did an action that is not befitting him and so forth, and you keep on doing it, your salat will break, we keep on fidgeting with our clothes, we keep on playing with it, we keep on doing this, so that is called amal kathir so you do it it three times, four times and that in one rukun in your standing or in your sitting and so forth, then the salat breaks. So we should be very careful about these type of issues. Allah Jalla wa give us tawfiq that we perform the salat not just going through the motions but we perform the quality salat. Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.